I'm Dave and this is Logan out once again for a walk in the New Forest. Thanks for joining us. Now first things first, if you're watching this during the festive period, happy Christmas to you and yours. Now where are we today? Well, we're out for a real winter's walk and I parked my car at the Broxhill Green Forestry Commission car park which is just off the A337 Cadnam to Lindhurst Road, about a mile south of uh, Cadnam, which is located at uh, Junction 1 of the M27. And we're going to be walking a circular route of about five miles-ish, primarily through woods with a, a bit of open grassland. We'll be looking for some boundary stones, an ancient tree, a pretty little cricket ground, the Bartley Water Stream, and I expect there'll be a few interesting things to see along the way. Now I'm filming in the middle of December. As you can see, we really are well wrapped up. It is bitterly cold. Uh, car temperature was showing minus two degrees. I think it might get to about one degree later on, but the sun is out and there's blue sky. It should be a really great winter's walk, providing we keep moving. And even Logan's got his extra thick coat on today. Let's go. Well, it's certainly going to be one of those walks where I'm going to be able to see my breath all day. Oh, it is fresh. It's only about 10 o'clock and as I said, it's still freezing. It's been one of the hardest frosts of the year so far. Just looking at some of the, the bracken here with the ice still on top. It's really quite atmospheric. OK, I'm going to take quite a relaxed approach to this walk insofar as I've got a rough idea where I'm going and I'm going to see where some of the tracks take me. It's an area of the forest that I don't know too well. But uh, we shouldn't get lost because <laughs> to the uh, west is the A337 road, which you probably hear. We'll get away from that quite soon. To the south is Lyndhurst. Uh, to the east is the Fletcher's uh, Copse Road and then... It's the Bartley Road to the north, and with the sun being out, I know where south is. I don't think we'll get lost. I'm continuing to make my way south. I'm keeping the busy road quite close to me just for a little bit longer because I'm trying to see if I can find a boundary stone, which may well be a challenge. And just in front of me here, a little stream I'm about to cross. It's uh, one of the tributaries of um, the Bartley Water. I think this one's called Dogburn Gutter. And it flows to Ealing and then out to Southampton Water. Aha! Success! <laughs> I honestly didn't think we had any hope in finding this. So this is an old boundary stone, what's it say? 1822 EP. I think that must mean Ealing Parish on uh, the eastern side. And if I just carefully come on the other side, what does that say? It looks like an MP Minstead. Yeah, Minstead Village is um, to the west. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's in very good condition as well. Oh, I'm glad we found it. Uh, 
looks like a, a deer seat, just looking over a little bit of a valley, obviously uh, required for keeping the, uh, the deer numbers to the correct level, of course. I'm loving this walk. I don't often do winter walks. I tend to use the winter time for, for research, but uh, it's lovely uh, listening to the, the crunch of your footsteps on the frozen ground. Now, I've just uh, hit a one of the authorised cycle tracks through the forest. Always useful to have, actually, as a point of reference uh, in case you do get lost. Just emerged from some woods, had some fun crossing the Fleet Water, which is another one of the uh, tributaries of the Bartley Water. And we've now hit a, an area of heathland. It really is quite beautiful this morning. And a lot of deer about, fallow deer, lovely to see. So uh, continuing to head southwards uh, into the Fair Cross area, I'm going to see if I can find an ancient oak. Well, folks, this may or may not be <laughs> the Fair Cross Oak. I've uh, spent the last 15 minutes going through these woods, desperately trying to find it. It's, uh, well, I know it's 6.69 metres in diameter and it's got a, one of the lower branches missing, which this one has, and it's quite by a stream and there is a, a little stream just over there. So, although I'm not 100% convinced, this could be it. Now it's not one of the biggest oaks in the uh, the forest by any uh, any means, but it's uh, it's one of the ones that has its own name, and it's uh, it's fairly large. Got uh, holly trees growing around it. But there we go. I always love it when you come across trees this size. I don't know how long this is. Uh, been here a few centuries, I should suspect. It looks like it's been pollarded, mind you, which is why you've got the two branch uh, branches either side there. I always like to give these trees a little bit of respect as well for having for having lived so long. Well, I'm glad we found that tree. I say it might not have been the one we were looking for, but it was a big one nonetheless. I think it was the the Fair Cross Oak. Right, well, the next part of the walk might be quite interesting because I'm going into unknown territory. So I'm going to start heading north east. So I've got Rush Pole Wood over on the eastern side, Fox Hill to the north. So I reckon if I sort of head in between the two, at some stage we should hit the Buskets Lawn enclosure. Fingers crossed.
I just simply had to have a little pit stop here for this view. I don't know if this is coming across on the camera, but oh, still a few leaves there, golden, brown and yellow, catching the winter sunshine. Really is quite beautiful because you've got the green still of the holly underneath this little area here. I think it could either be Gutter Heath or we might be a bit further north from that, but who cares where we are? Let's just uh, enjoy it. Well, I've just come to this little open area and <laughs> on the left hand side where the sun has got to the ground, it's all green, but on the right, where the shadows of the trees, it's still frozen with the frost from this morning. And uh, well, it's half past 12 now, so I guess it's gonna be frozen for the rest of the day. Just a quick update on the channel, by the way. Um, a big thank you to everybody who's subscribed and uh, has given encouragement and supported the channel. We're nearly up to 3000 subscribers as I'm filming today. And uh, looking forward to 2023. Um, already doing the planning and organising for that, something like 50 walks planned and I've done the research for 15 already and there's going to be a, quite a few exciting places to go and explore. So to keep watching every Friday afternoon, a new walk. Just an update on the route. We've now hit the edge of the Buskets lawn enclosure with its boundary bank and ditch. We now want to start heading northwards. Um, hopefully going to come across a, a cricket pitch in the middle of nowhere. in the middle of the forest, Bartley Cricket Club with a rather cute little pavilion. And there's the cricket ground itself with the wickets protected by fencing. Keep the ponies off, although it does look quite a, uh, an uneven surface over there. And I wonder how many cricket balls have been lost with sixes and fours in the woods over the years. Well, just on the last section of the walk now, I've got great stubby hat on my left and uh, Eves Hill on my right. And uh, we're just continuing on a sort of northwesterly direction and that'll take us back to the car park. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our walk. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up and a like and to leave a comment. We're off to the uh, Sir John Barleycorn pub at uh, Cadnam for a bowl of piping hot soup. So all that remains for us to say is, uh, well, we wish you a, a prosperous and healthy new year. And until we meet again, thanks for watching and cheerio. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. oh. 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 Go on, here we go. Good. <laughs> Come on, this way. Come on, this way. Logan, this way. Logan, come on. Come on, yeah. This way. Come on, come on, come on. This way. Come on. Logan, come on, come on. This way, come on. <laughs>